Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this 5x5 lace closure whip from Asteria Hair. And just look at how beautiful and full, thick this hair is. This curly hair was so soft. I swear it was so soft. And I just love the texture of it. Whenever I did get it, I thought it was going to be more like a wave. I honestly thought it was water wave hair whenever I got it. But then after I washed it, the true curl pattern came out. And I was like, oh, this is pretty. This was just beautiful. So... I'm just going to be styling the wig off of my head. I honestly just did not feel like getting my, you know, whenever you wet curly hair, when it's on your head, like your shoulders and your back and everything just gets wet. And I honestly just did not feel like dealing with that. So I was like, why don't I just do it on the mannequin head and let it dry on the mannequin head? Because I get really irritated with letting it dry on my head and waiting and wet hair touching me. No. So I was like, let me just do it on the mannequin head. So I'm just going through each section and spraying it down with water. And then once I have this whole side of the hair wet, I'm going to go in with my foam and just run it through the curls just to define them a little bit more. So I did let it dry in front of a fan and then I put it on my head. I don't know what happened to the clip of me using my spray to like secure the wig onto my head. But I did use spray, but that clip is just missing somewhere. So that's not in here but all i did was put it on put a little bit of spray and cut the lace off and i kind of went in with my hot comb and tried to like press down the roots now i feel like whenever you use a hot comb on curly hair to like straighten out the roots i feel like it doesn't look right sometimes i just haven't figured out how exactly to get the roots and the hairline to look good on a curly wig without them like sticking up because i kind of feel like mine were kind of sticking up but I did try to go in with my comb while the hair was wet and kind of like press it down so that it would be flat to the head. But it didn't really work that well once I went to fluff up the hair. So I have to figure out a way to get that to look good without making the hair look like it's super straight and then it curls up. Y'all know what I'm talking about whenever you see like the curly wigs with the straight roots. and You know what I'm talking about. So that was really it I believe. I'm just going to let you guys finish watching me do this with the hair and you guys will see in a little bit how beautiful the hair turned out, how pretty the curls were. Once I put the wig on my head and fluff it up, this wig was just so beautiful. The lace was very thin. I actually enjoyed this wig. It, it was just honestly, I loved it. And also this is 22 inches. I hope I'm not wrong. 22 inches. Um, density, I'm not sure, but I would say like 180 but if I'm wrong, it will be in the description box below. So I'm going to have everything linked down there for you guys. If you guys want to check out Asteria Hair, I'm going to have the link to my Depop as well down there. And yes, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will just let you guys go ahead and keep watching the video. Bye guys. I'll talk to you next time.
Junior Watson, I'll be on my knee. Tell him this. 